They call it the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, and in this video, let's unbox it. This is the 2023 Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. Now, I'm probably going to mess up the name multiple times in the video and call it like the 7i Pro, so just forgive me right off the bat. Now, this is the latest i9-13900HX. We have 32 gigs of RAM, and we have the RTX 4070 GPU. So this is gonna be a fantastic comparison for the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. I'm so excited to do a head-to-head -head review. Definitely keep an eye out on my channel for that review coming as soon as possible. Now let's go ahead and get into the charger block first. Check out if we still have the 300 watt charger block, and yes, we do. So this is quite a hefty charger block you'll be carrying along with you, but this laptop is pulling a ton of power. In order to get all that performance, you're gonna want a good sized charger block to push the power you need. Now this is a brand new redesign. Not extremely different from last year's model, but it is different nonetheless. The 5i Pro, the 5 Pro, and the Legion 7 have all gotten a redesign, and I'm looking forward to what we have in store for us with the Legion Pro 7i. Lenovo Legion Pro 7i first look coming out of the sleeve. They switched over from the, uh, the metal wrapping on the 2022 to this plastic bezel. This is still an aluminum material. We have an aluminum top cover, aluminum bottom cover, some aluminum side panels, but this additional design aesthetic piece is a piece of plastic. So I do like the design. It's very similar to last year. However, I'm a little disappointed that they went ahead and put plastic there instead of keeping that aluminum piece from last year. Now let's go ahead and look how the bottom cover is nestled into the side panel on the Legion Pro 7i. You can see it fits very nicely, no catchy edges. The assembly on these Legion laptops is second to none. They've done such an incredible job with the build quality and quality control on these Legion laptops. Right now, I feel that Lenovo is leading the pack with build quality, performance, usability, and features. They're doing such an incredible job building specifically these Legion series laptops. To keep things traditional here on the channel, let's do a little tap test on the bottom cover and on the top cover. A little rattliness right there. Maybe they used a thinner aluminum material to make the chassis a little bit lighter. It does feel a little lighter than last year's model. I'm gonna go ahead and put the weight and thickness on the screen. Nice thin and light chassis, especially for how much performance this laptop packs. It has an i9-13900HX, an RTX 4070, and 32 gigs of RAM in this nice slim chassis. And by slim, I mean compared to some of the thicker, chunky gaming laptops that are on the market. This is not a thin and light ultra book by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go ahead and check out the ports on the left side panel. We have a USB type A and a USB type C. On the right side panel, we have an additional USB type A, your headphone jack, and the manual cutoff switch for the webcam. On the back panel of the chassis, we have two USB type A's, your power adapter, HDMI, USB type C, and a network port. As I'm getting a closer look at the Legion Pro 7i, you can see it has a little spatter paint job here. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try and see, get the light just right so you can see that, but there's a little design element there. It kind of looks more like a spatter paint job than just a traditional smooth paint job on both of these plastic pieces. So I do like that nice touch that was not necessary at all. But again, Lenovo really pulling out the unnecessary things to give us a great quality laptop. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. 
Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now let's go ahead and get the laptop open for the first time with one hand because it does have a good amount of weight to it. Like I said earlier, it is light for a gaming laptop, but it is not a thin and light laptop. So there's a good weight to it. So it opens and closes easily with one hand. Now let's go ahead and check out the screen flex here, see what we got going on. A good bit of screen flex. This is a 16 inch panel, so not a very stiff screen. We have two individual hinges here holding the screen onto the keyboard deck. The Legion Pro 7i keyboard deck has really nice softer touch keys this year. They're not that kind of traditional hard plastic. They feel a little bit softer to the touch. Now the key press is very similar, nice and quiet, a medium key press. You have your numpad on the right side panel. This design element here you can see kind of curves in rather than going straight and taking a 90 degree turn, it takes these two turns first, and then this design element comes down around the arrow keys. So I really like the aesthetic addition there, just that slight little beveled edge looks very nice. Now the trackpad is something I was hoping that they would make bigger this year, and they didn't, and they have plenty of room to make it bigger. Now for creators like myself, doing video editing, graphic design, 3D modeling, photography, digital art, it is nicer to have quite a bit of a larger trackpad. Now I did mention the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra in the beginning of this video. That that is somewhere where I'm gonna give that laptop a compliment over this one. So you'll definitely wanna watch that video if you're considering going between these two laptops. The screen is also another great consideration uh, when checking out different laptops. This does have a nice color accurate screen and during my full review, we'll reveal what the color gamut range, color accuracy and brightness is on this screen after my test. Now getting the laptop fired up, you can see that glow around the edge of the keyboard deck. This is true to the seven series from Legion. The 5 in the past, the 5 Pro and the 5i Pro did not have this glow around it. This is something that was exclusive to the 7 series. So I'm really curious when we get the uh, Pro 5 and the Pro 5i if we're going to have some of this glow. I don't think we are. You can easily toggle through your different lighting modes on the keyboard deck with just function spacebar, which looks really nice. Turn up and down the screen brightness, of course, and you can even view some of your quick keys by pressing the function button, which is really neat. So for instance, I can control the fan modes right here by pressing function and Q. By pressing function and R, I can change the screen refresh rate. You can see it changed it to 60 hertz. And then it's gonna switch again to 240 hertz. Quick hack on the Legion Pro 7i. If you wanna get better battery life, go ahead and hit function R and you'll swap the refresh rate down to 60 hertz. And that will help improve the battery life on your laptop. You can quickly turn on and off the RGB on the front of the keyboard deck. So if you wanna save some battery, I definitely recommend turning that down as well. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm so grateful when you guys use those links to make a purchase. Now, going ahead and jumping into the Lenovo Vantage Center, you can see that we have the normal thermal modes. You have performance, balanced, quiet, and now you have this custom mode, so you can really take things to the next level if you want to really tweak it just for your needs. Now, something that was not available on the Lenovo Legion 7 Pro, uh, this is now the Pro 7, so last year's model, was the ability to do hybrid iGPU only mode. When I had the Lenovo Legion 7 AMD Advantage laptop, you were unable to do iGPU only mode, which means you basically are turning 
off the dedicated GPU and running only on the hybrid iGPU. Now what this does is it helps you save on battery life. So it's really great to see that they have this feature built into the Lenovo Vantage for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i this year, and they have not decided to leave this off. This is great. I'm hoping that this gives us really great battery life uh, for this laptop when you're doing you know, web browsing, streaming video, doing tasks where you don't need to be using the dedicated GPU. Now let's go ahead and check out, see what the webcam looks like on the 2023 model of the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now, right before we flip over the laptop and check out the upgrade path of this year's model, let's get into a couple benchmarks I was able to quickly run for the unboxing. Looking at the Photoshop benchmark, the new Legion Pro 7i crushes Photoshop. Now, the 32 gigs is a big helper at this. If you had this laptop with 16 gigs of RAM, it may get to the thousands, but not see upwards of the 1200s and above. So if you're thinking about getting this laptop with 16 gigs of RAM, it'll still be great, but that extra 32 gigs really gives it a nice little punch. If you're liking the new desk accessories, definitely head down in the description below and check out Grove Made. Now, as I pull off the bottom cover for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, you can see that we revealed the 99 watt hour battery, as well as not only one, but two M.2 slots. So you have an unoccupied and an occupied M.2 slot, as well as access to your Wi Fi card. And then you pull off the cover and you reveal the RAM sticks. You get two RAM sticks with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. These are 1R times 8. So keep in mind that that is the memory. There's been a lot of memory controversy when it comes to Legion over the past couple of years. And you can see exactly the module that comes in this system. This is the SK Hynix Korea. They have outfitted this model with the SK Hynix, and this is from Korea. So this has 32 gigs of RAM, two 16 gig sticks come in this model, and you can swap those for two 32 gig sticks if you would like to make an upgrade to this laptop. What we're seeing this year with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i is really a blend of the Legion 7 and the Legion 5 from last year. It has a bit more of the chunky plastic aesthetics that the 5i and the 5i Pro came with last year. The plastic additions on the bezel of the laptop instead of having aluminum compared to last year really kind of shows that. I wouldn't say the quality has decreased. The quality is on par completely with last year's model. They've just made some tweaks to kind of align the 7 and the 5 a little bit more in this year's lineup. Now we're going to have tons more videos coming out about the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel. And if you want to make a purchase or check the live pricing, get the links in the description below or in the comment section and you can check that out. If you do make a purchase, of course, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, but that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'll see you here in the next video.